Welcome back to Ultra Defense. Today, we're diving into a head-to-head -head comparison between two advanced fifth-generation fighter jets, the Turkish KAN and the Russian Sukhoi Su-57. These jets represent cutting-edge aerospace technology, pushing the boundaries of modern air combat. Why is this comparison crucial? Both jets are poised to play significant roles in their respective air forces offering unique capabilities that could influence future conflicts today, will break down their design, performance, avionics and armament, giving you an in-depth understanding of what sets these two aircraft apart. Historical Background The KAAN developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries is Turkey's first indigenous fifth-generation fighter jet officially unveiled in 2023. The jet is part of Turkey's ambitious goal to strengthen its domestic defense capabilities. The KAAN project started in the late 2010s with the first prototype taking flight in 2023. This aircraft marks a significant milestone for Turkey as it seeks to reduce its reliance on foreign military technology. On the other hand, the Su-57 developed by Sukhoi is Russia's answer to the US F-22 Raptor. The Su-57 project began in the early 2000s with its first flight in 2010. The jet officially entered service in 2020 after overcoming numerous technical challenges and delays. The Su-57 is intended to replace the aging MiG-29 and Su-27 serving as Russia's premier multi-role fighter jet. Weapons and Armament The KAAN is designed to be a multi-role fighter with a versatile weapons loadout. It can carry a variety of air-to-air -air missiles including Goktagan and Bostagan and air-to-ground munitions like the SOM, a long-range Cryos missile and precision-guided bombs NEB and MK-83-84. The aircraft features both internal and external weapon stations allowing it to maintain stealth when needed or maximize. Firepower with external pylons The Su-57 on the other hand is equipped with an extensive arsenal that includes advanced air-to-air -air missile like R-77 and R-73 and air-to-ground missiles like KH-38M and KH-59 MK-2 and guided bombs like KAB-500 and 1500 and a 30mm autocannon. The jet's internal weapon bays enhance its stealth characteristics while the external pylons provide additional capacity when stealth is less of a concern. Cockpit and Avionics The Khan's cockpit is designed with a focus on pilot ergonomics and situational awareness. It includes a wide-angle heads-up display, HUD, advanced multifunction displays and an integrated helmet-mounted display, HMD, that provides critical flight information directly to the pilot. The jet also boasts state-of-the-art avionics, including an AESA radar system capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously. The Su-57's cockpit is similarly advanced featuring a glass cockpit with large multifunction displays and a HUD. The pilot's helmet is integrated with a targeting system allowing the pilot to lock onto targets simply by looking at them. The Su-57 also includes advanced avionics like the 121 shillings multifunctional integrated radio electronic system, Myers, which enhances its radar electronic warfare and communication capabilities. Engine and Performance The KAAN is powered by two advanced turbofan engines each capable of generating significant thrust to achieve a top speed of Mach 2. Its operational range exceeds 2,200 km and it has a service ceiling of over 60,000 feet. The jet's design emphasizes super cruise capability, allowing it to sustain supersonic speeds without afterburners which is a key feature in modern air combat. The Su-57 is equipped with the AL-41 F1 engine which provides thrust vectoring for enhanced maneuverability. This Engine allows the Su-57 to reach speeds of up to Mach 2 and operate at altitudes up to 65,000 feet. The jet's range is approximately 2,175 miles making it a formidable presence in both air superiority and strike missions. Stealth and Defense Systems Stealth is a critical aspect of both jets' designs. The KAAN utilizes radar-absorbent materials and a carefully shaped airframe to reduce its radar cross-section. Its integrated electronic warfare suite provides countermeasures against enemy radar and missile threats. The Su-57's stealth features include a combination of radar-absorbing materials and an angular airframe that minimizes radar. Returns the aircraft is also equipped with advanced electronic countermeasures, ECM, and infrared. Countermeasures, IRCM, making it highly survivable in contested airspace. Design and Build The KAN features a sleek, stealth-optimized design with advanced composite materials that reduce its radar cross-section. Its airframe is built using lightweight high-strength materials like carbon fiber and titanium ensuring durability while maintaining a low weight. The aircraft measures approximately 21 meters in length with a wingspan of 14 meters in contrast. The Su-57's design emphasizes agility and stealth. It incorporates composite materials and radar-absorbent coatings to minimize detection. The Su-57 is slightly larger, with a length of about 20 meters and a wingspan of 14.1 meters. One of its distinctive features is the combination of an angular fuselage with thrust vectoring engines, enhancing its maneuverability. 
Operational Roles and Capabilities The KAAN is designed to excel in air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions its multi-role capabilities make it a flexible asset for the Turkish Air Force, capable of adapting to various combat scenarios the Su-57 is similarly versatile designed to dominate in air superiority roles while also performing ground attack electronic warfare and reconnaissance missions its combination of stealth speed and advanced avionics makes it a formidable opponent in any theater of operations. Comparison Metrics when comparing the KAN and Su-57, several key metrics stand out the Khan's super cruise capability gives it an edge in maintaining high speeds during combat without sacrificing fuel efficiency the Su-57, with its thrust vectoring engines, excels in maneuverability allowing it to outmaneuver adversaries in dogfights in terms of payload capacity both jets are capable of carrying a substantial amount of ordnance with the Su-57 having a slight edge in overall capacity due to its larger airframe. Conclusion to wrap up both the KAAN and Su-57 represent the pinnacle of fifth-generation fighter technology each with its own strengths and weaknesses the KAAN offers excellent speed and stealth making it a formidable adversary in modern air combat. The Su-57 with its advanced maneuverability and diverse weapons loadout remains a powerful tool in Russia's military arsenal so which jet do you think has the upper hand? Let us know in the comments below don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Ultra Defense and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content.